good Sunday morning. It's relaxing Sunday. Britt's just getting ready to run off to work, do her work stuff. Saying your goodbyes? No. Am I interrupting? Were you having a moment? Giving kisses. All of YouTube's watching, Frank. No pressure. Mama's boy. They're all mama's boy. It's very true, yeah. <laughs> Wiener, the ultimate mama's boy. It's very jealous right now. <laughs> Hence the glare. Oh, oh, here it comes. What oh. you gonna do about it? Oh. What you gonna do about it? She's gonna give us a stink eye. And then she's gonna see it works every time. Every time. Oh, another one here. Didn't even see you. He blends in with the floor. <laughs> Diesel's in the room back there. He doesn't know this is all going on. He's gonna be very upset he was Diesel. left out. Diesel! Mom's giving no kisses over here. You're missing out, Free man. Free ones. Free ones. Okay, is it look. nice? Actually, we got good. Oh, oh, stretch, stretch. There you go, Sunday mornings. Uh, no. That's exactly how every Sunday morning goes. No. Not to kiss. Hi, Good boy. Oh, hi, Wiener. Maybe we'll, go, maybe we'll look at the shop again today. Maybe. I gotta give Britt a ride into work because uh, we left the terrain in the shop just to let it thaw out. Hopefully. Uh, what did your dad say it might have been again? It, there's ice in the. Uh, Something. It doesn't. Something filter. Something filter. There might be ice in a filter. So he's, he's the expert. Yeah. Car terms. And he works there, so his terms are... He knows what's going on. A little more scientific <laughs> yeah. than ours. You know, the thing that drives with the wheels and the engine. I usually know, I just can't think. It made sense to me when he explained it to me, but we're just hoping that thawing the whole vehicle out for a couple of days will uh, actually uh, get this engine light to turn off. It may not. It looks like it's probably like an O2 sensor or something, but uh, we give this a shot first before we go spend a thousand dollars, you know? Maybe this will this will fix it. But in the meantime, I gotta drive her to work, bring her back home, and get some work done in between. I think you work till 5.30, right? Yeah, I don't wanna. 5.30 and the time is now almost 11 a.m. <sighs> okay, let's do this. You ready? No. Couldn't find my camera for a while. My mom and dad came by here, swung by here, and helped me out. So I caught her here. Gave me a ride to the truck today so that I could bring it back here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. How have you been feeling? Good. Yeah? yeah 100% good. back again? Yeah. yeah. I guess awesome. I have a sore shoulder now that I'm working with, but... Okay. That's good, yeah. Good. Well, I just want to say hi to you. Yeah. My Everyone else was all fine, so yeah. Oh, the good. doctor says you're all fine. Which one was that? What's that? What was that? I have a breathing test. Oh, okay. Coming up, yeah. And so far, everything's good. Good. Mm -hmm. Everyone's been asking about you, so oh, yeah. just want to let oh, them yeah. know you're doing great. Yeah, I'm doing great. Working hard again. <laughs> Good. Too hard. You need to slow down job. a little bit. Yeah, I know. Eh? <laughs> One of these days I will. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good luck with your new shop there. Thank you. Yeah. Anything you want to say to the the audience yet, Deb? Well, first of all, hello there. It's an awesome day. Look at it. We had deep freeze here for I don't know how long, and now we can actually open up our jackets if we want to without for a, for a little while i like your suspenders hey look at that hey <laughs> that's awesome i'm canadian hey <laughs> <laughs> she's shaking her head <laughs> i'm loving it <laughs> uh it's not my regular truck that i'm driving right now but uh, it's 3079 and I'm headed out with a load with it uh, first thing tomorrow morning. So I have the load here outside. I have the truck in here. It actually saves time for me in the morning. Then I can just grab the load and leave from here. And since I have it in a nice warm shop, I can keep it all nice and clean on the inside too. Because I noticed it was getting a little dirty. And we want to put uh, possibly one of you guys in this truck. Right? That's what we've been talking about. Or we want to put a new driver in here. Yeah, with a big truck in here, it, uh, it definitely makes it feel smaller but it fits in here just fine. There will only ever be one truck and maybe one vehicle like this in here. And there's still plenty of space. 
I'll get some shelving back here yet. I want to get all of that bull snot off the floor so it's not on the floor. Exactly. Lots of room to work on the truck and walk around the truck as well. And it also reduces the maintenance costs on these guys. Because I can't imagine, this winter's been brutal on all of our equipment. Uh, you know, you've, you've watched my vlogs every morning, it's something else. Every single day it seems something's frozen, something's broken, the cold breaks everything, or the, the, the engine won't start because we didn't plug it in properly, or someone bumped the cord and now we can't get it started. Well now with this, we'll never have a problem with that. So Britt and I were going to be using this place for storage. So it's very empty in here right now, but we have a lot of stuff we're gonna bring in here. And uh, we needed storage anyway, so we were in the market looking around and uh, once we found this place, decided to put our deposit down and, and go for it. And uh, talked with everybody at work and I explained to them what I was doing and that I would like to be able to have the truck here to, uh, you know, keep it clean, keep it maintained. And they were all right with that. Now I'm gonna work on some videos at my little fancy office right here. So I'm just gonna finish this up. Uh, it's first day of work is done. I figured it's better to drive it in forward because then it leaves more room on this end for me. But uh, this is just a temporary truck for now. We're sort of still waiting on the safety on mine. It hadn't gone into the shop today yet and this is uh, Monday when I'm finishing this up so it's the next day. Spoiler alert for tomorrow. Truck's still not safety, but you know, that's okay. Let's not, I don't want to pressure them too much. They're swamped, they're, they're busy. Got a lot of things going on. And in the meantime, I have this nice Western Star to drive around. And uh, it's, it's actually, you know, when I'm driving it around, I'm remembering all the things I liked about it. The transmission in this truck is great. The space, you can get a model of truck with a different sleeper on here that has a lot more depth there's a lot more space so that problem can be fixed but overall the engine runs very quiet it's got good power all of the controls are right on the steering column much like volvo same idea everything's all very close by easy to reach but i really like the transmission it really shifts well i actually like it better than the peterbilt automatic transmissions though i do like the peterbilt trucks better in my opinion but i do like the western stars better for other things too they all have their strengths and some of them have their weaknesses. But uh, all in all, you know, trucks nowadays, they're all good. It doesn't matter what brand you get. You like Volvo, they're great. Western Stars are great. Uh, Peterbilt's Kenworth are obviously great. Internationals, Max. What else am I missing? I'm missing something in there, aren't I? All the other ones, you know, they've come so far that every truck manufacturer can pretty much build a an awesome truck that has its own strengths. You don't want them all to be exactly the same. You know, so you got to go with what you, uh, with what you like. You know, they all have their own little niche part of the, the broad market. But I do want to let you guys know that uh, coming up in April, there's a truck show or a truck event in Ontario called Truck World. It hasn't been around since this whole pandemic rolled through, but it is coming up this year again in April and I've been invited to go along and check it out and show you guys what it's all about. And if you're planning on going, just hold off a day or two yet. I'm going to be rele releasing a promo code that you can use under my name that'll get you in the door uh, for a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper than what you'd pay at the gate or for regular price. Okay, I'm going to have a good promo code for you. I just, I'm too excited. I can't not talk about it. We're going to Truck World. I'm going to be one of their guests there. And uh, it's in Southern Ontario in the Toronto Mississauga area. I believe it's in the Mississauga Convention Center. It's going to be April 21st to 23rd, I believe. I'm going to talk about this a lot more in the future. I'll probably make videos just dedicated to uh, sort of advertising for it to lead up to it because it'd be great to meet you guys there. And I want to see if I can get as many of you people there as possible so I could meet you. I'm, I'm I know I can get you in the door for a really, really good deal. I'm just waiting for this promo code to come up. And, 
I'm pretty excited about that. So just hold off for now. But if you want to go to truckworld.ca, I think is the website. Uh, you can just Google it. It's in Canada. It's sort of like Canadian mats, like uh, the Mid American Truck Show or the American Truck Show. It's sort of the same idea. It's a huge exhibition. All of the big players are going to be there. All of the new technologies are going to be showed off there. Uh, there's going to be a uh, it's a massive, it's the convention center. So it's going to be a massive thing. And I'm, I'm going to do a push for it in the future here because I'm working together with Truck World and Keystone Western. We're, we're, we're working together to bring this show to you. Well, they're bringing the show to you. I want to bring you to their show. Does that make sense? Because we're going to be there. It's in the planning stages right now. Okay, bear with me. Planning stages. We're just getting excited about it. So hold off, hold off. I'm going to get you a promo code. Keep Keep watching my videos so that uh, uh, when that promo code does go live, you can take advantage of it right away and get in the door. I don't want to say what the price would be. I thought that we'd be able to get you in the door for free. But I don't want to get your hopes up too far. I know I can get you in the door for a really good deal. Okay, so let's just, just hold off on that. And if you're American and you can get up here to Canada, you're absolutely welcome to come too. It's going to be a blast. I can't wait for it. See what happens. If you guys have any ideas of what I should do in here, maybe I can, uh, maybe we can sort of uh, develop and decorate this place together. I'm not much of an interior decorator. It's, this is going to be my man cave, okay? So remember that when you're giving uh, suggestions, okay? We're not putting a, a big pot of flowers in the corner over there, okay? We got enough of those at the house. We don't need more flowers in here, okay? We're going to put manly things in here. Maybe like a big TJV logo up there. Maybe like three logos. I'm thinking maybe like a TJV logo front and center, right? And then like a, maybe a big Keystone logo over there. And obviously a big bull snot logo right there. Yeah. And then flags up here. Maybe just three. I don't want it too cluttered, right? The Canadian flag, the Manitoba flag, and uh, the US flag probably. Maybe a don't tread on me flag. I don't know. See if I'm feeling wild or not. And then on that side, maybe we'll get some, uh, some big posters or something up there. Maybe someone will want to advertise in the background of my vlog, because I'm going to be vlogging in here quite a bit as I'm working on the truck and cleaning it. And you know, whatever's hanging on my walls are always going to be in the background of my videos. So maybe there's somebody out there that would like uh, their company or their logo advertised in the background of the videos. Just throw that out there. We'll see. I want it to look good and I don't want it to look cluttered, okay? So I reserve the right to put up whatever I want to put up. Uh, we're headed up to Lac de Bonnie. After we deliver that, I gotta be there at about 9 30, 10 o'clock. And after we deliver that, that's sort of in, uh, that's around the place where we went out up those winter roads. Uh, there was that big dam up there. Remember that? We brought a trailer up there. Oops, I'm throwing my toque around here. So we'll figure it out. But uh, until my truck gets safety, uh, me and the star are gonna be friends and I'll be taking good care of her in here. I wanna clean her up though, she needs a bath. I just gotta do it outside the shop. I'm just wandering around here blabbing already. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is a Sunday vlog, sort of just relaxing. Tomorrow we're back to trucking. I'm gonna try to bring you more weekend vlogs from now on. I know I haven't for a while, uh, but I sort of miss them. I, I miss having the daily connection with you guys and the daily connection with the storyline too, right? Because if you go straight from Monday to Friday, you miss the whole weekend. And most times the weekend's like one of the best parts of the week. <laughs> I don't know why I wouldn't include that in my daily vlogs, right? We'll be spending a lot of time here on the weekends. Just a heads up. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. And don't forget, I'm going to plug it one more time. If you want to drive this truck or one just like it for that company right there, email me at truckerjosh at keystonewestern.com. And I just want to make sure that you're eligible and chat with you for a little bit. And then I can send you straight through to the proper people who you need to, uh, to get all your resume and your driver's abstract. And uh, we can get the ball rolling, right? Get you driving. Maybe this exact truck. I don't know. Maybe once I'm done with it, it still needs a driver. I'll, I'll clean it up for you. It won't be this dirty. <laughs> Remember, got to be a Canadian citizen, permanent resident, or have a work visa and have a legal, uh, have your whole legal right to work here in Canada already set up. Unfortunately, we don't 
uh, deal with the immigration or sponsorship programs, but if you're uh, ready and willing and able and legally able to work here in Canada, you have a good driver's abstract, you, know, you got a year or two experience or whatever, and you want to try out Keystone Western, I would definitely recommend it. I've been here 10 years now. After, well, in 2022, towards the end of the year, it'll be 11 years. I love it. So you can use my experience here as testament. I, I am happy. I mean, we can't make everybody happy. Obviously, we're not uh, perfect, and I can't guarantee everybody a job. I'm not the recruiter, okay? I'm not the person you'll be talking to to go through the process of getting a job. I can just hook you up and point you in the right direction. So you can email me, and uh, we'll see if we can set you up. Take care, everybody. Have a good one.